in the month of September alone, I made $1,500. Is it possible to be a seller and sell merchandise on TikTok and also be an affiliate and promote other people's products or other brands? I'm gonna cover that coming up next. So when it comes to content gap, I got you covered because there is no video that is cut and dry on this issue. I have a video already prepared that I recorded already and it definitely covers can you be a seller and an affiliate of other people's products on the same account, okay? A lot of stuff is out there and it's telling you that you can be a seller and an affiliate, but it's not what you think. Watch this video. So let me save you some time right now. If you want to know, can you have a seller account on TikTok shop and be an affiliate as well? The answer is no. All right. Now that I got that out the way, let me tell you what happened. Now, I still do have both affiliate accounts. I'm excited about that. Got my main account. I will link this in the bio or it's actually already in my bio or I might, you know, uh, link it in this uh, description right here. And then I recently just got approved about four days ago uh, for my second TikTok shop affiliate account. But anyway, the same day that I got approved that night, um, it got taken away, but it didn't get taken away. I did something and it took it away. And then I said, oh, please, Lord, let me get it back, right? And I had to wait 24 hours and then I got it back. What I did, because I was curious, and I'm gonna make a YouTube video on this. If you want tips, tricks, and tutorials on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, it should be linked in this bio as well. Click on it and it's a whole channel, almost 30,000 subscribers and I cover a lot of stuff and it will save you some time, <laughs> save you some heartache, some pain and it will also show you how to do things, especially with new features and stuff on the different platforms. But anyway, I got approved for the account, right? But what I wanna say is I had a seller account first and I heard that you can't have both. But I decided I wanted to take... Uh, my Christian clothing account in a different direction. And I wanted to um, have an affiliate account first, and then I can just make a third account, the clothing account, you know, because I'm already selling t-shirts on diehardchristian.com on the website, you know, but I wanted to do it through here. So anyway, I went ahead and unlinked my seller account from the uh, DHC apparel account. And I met the requirements, right, to be to have over a thousand uh, followers on that account. And I was actively posting, actively engaging, reposting people's content. And I got the notification, right? You know, um, and so I went ahead and clicked on it. And I was at a thousand and eighty five followers. I clicked on it and I got approved. And I was like, what? Hold on. Am I at, am I on the right account? Right. Anyway. Um, now what I will tell you, if you're a seller and you're watching this, that account was a seller account and right at 950, I decided to unlink the seller from it and it just be a regular, excuse me. And I wanted it just to be a regular personal account, basically a creator account. So I unlinked the seller from it. So at 950, I just built my way to 1,000. And then it got to 1,085 because when I got to 1,000, I'm trying to apply and the option is not, you know, available. It's still grayed out. <clears throat> anyway, I'm excited. I post four videos and then I, I go to work, right? Um, and then I come home later that night and I said, man, there's really no videos. You know how on TikTok they have creator search insights? Well, they got that from YouTube because YouTube has, you know, the same thing, you know, but they call it something else. And then there's a content gap. Um, and it's the same thing. It's like, you know, people are searching for this or searching for this, but there's really no content for this, but it's commonly searched. So there was nothing that was telling me straight up if you can have a seller account and be an affiliate. 
Now, people will say you can, and you can, but what they mean to say, because I went through it, I experienced it, I experienced it firsthand, what they mean to say and what being an affiliate is, is, okay, so I'm not anymore because I'm putting it on hold, but let's just say it was still active, right? So I'm the seller on this account or that account at the time, and it was selling Christian t-shirts. I'm the seller, right? And I can link another account. You can link another account. And that account, I can be an affiliate for this account's products. But that account can't be an affiliate for the product marketplace. Nothing else out there. No tablets, no you know, treadmills, no clothing, no makeup. Only an affiliate for the account that's linked for the stuff that I'm selling. So that's what most people are meaning to say. But, you know, maybe there was a time back in the days, right? (laughs) So anyway, I uh, decided to test it out, you know, last night. And I said, man, you know, there's got to be a way. And so what did I do? I, even though I'm selling, I, I sold a couple of things already on my second affiliate account, I decided to go back in there and relink the uh, account that I had already unlinked. And when I did that, the shopping cart was still there. And I'm like, yes, okay, it's still there. And guess what? Because I had already added stuff to my showcase, it looked like I can still be an affiliate for the product marketplace, right? But when I created a video and then I clicked add to the video, to the description, a big old circle with a slash said, it said error or something, you do not have access to the affiliate program. Your account is a seller account. <laughs> I like to pass out, right? I don't know, I said, oh no. I said, ah. <laughs> what's going on, what's going on? You have no idea my world spent, and it's just as quick as I got it. Um, you know, I don't know, 20 hours later that evening, you know, it was, it was snatched away. But anyway, long story short, I said, oh no, I got to unlink this again because I worked hard to get that second account. And I said, you know, and then I was on the verge of being, you know, scared, you know, because it says that you can only unlink an account three times. I've already, cause I was doing some tests, you know, um, for other stuff I unlinked that account, I know for a fact, six, five times, maybe maybe four or five times. Um, and so I was like, please, God, let this unlink when the 24 hours gets here, which was 10 p.m. tonight. And uh, by the grace of God, <laughs> you know, it unlinked. And then I I even used chat GPT, you know, to, to ask, you know, hey, you know, will this account go back to normal if this happens and that happens? And it said, yeah, it should go back to normal, you know, and of course, chat GPT is using the most, you know, frequently, you know, questions and answers that are out there. Um, but yeah, uh, so it went back and um, now no one would have known, right, because it still had the shopping cart, but for those five or six or seven, eight hours, the shopping cart was for my clothing. But before that, it was for everything in the marketplace. And so I had a little scare there. So, but anyway, if um, now we're back to normal now, obviously I'm, you know, uh, being an affiliate for everything out there. But if you are a seller and you want to know and you can't find a video that tells you, you know, can I, you know, sell my own caps? Can I sell my own t-shirts? Can I sell my own merchandise? But then at the same time on the same account, not a different account, on the same account, not a linked account, on the same account, can you be an affiliate for computers, tablets, shavers, you know, everything on the marketplace? The answer is no. Because once you try to link an item, or you can't even, you don't even have access to the product marketplace. You know, I tried to do that and it's the same thing, you know, error, you know, you don't have access uh, to um, the affiliate program. Um, Your account is a seller account. You know, I was like, oh, wow. So anyway, hope that helped. Comment below. Let me know. Did you ever have these questions? 
did I just save you from a headache because you don't want to do what I did, you know, and then wonder, okay, how many times did I unlink this account already? You know, um, the only way you can be an affiliate is an affiliate of your own products, but not everything else. And then it's not on the same account. It's on the uh, official account that you link. All right. Hey, so I hope that was very helpful to you. If you have any questions or concerns, comment on this video. I just want to let you know in the month of September alone, I made $1,500 totally blowing out what I made the previous month, which was 648 in August. So August of 24, 2024, I made 600 and uh, excuse me, $684. The last week of July, when I started, I made a hundred and something dollars or 200 something dollars. And then of course, this is October, 2024. I'm, I'm trying to double or triple what I made in September, which was 1,500. So I will keep you posted. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, but regards to that video that I just showed you that I recorded earlier, if you decide you want to test it out like I did, right? Because I was itching. I said, no, there has to be a way. There has to be a way. And so I went ahead and relinked that seller account because the seller account is there. It's active. And if you don't link it to anything, it's still there. It's just floating in midair. And when you link it to an account, that's when everything will appear on that account and the name at the top will change. The nickname, it'll change. Um, and then I saw that okay, wow, the uh, shop icon is still there. So I'm excited, you know, and I went to go make a video. And when I went to go make a video, I got to get ready to tag um, some items that were already in my showcase that I had already made videos on. And when I went to tag that item, a big old circle appeared and said, <clears throat> right? And it said, you don't have, uh, uh, it says your account is a seller account. You don't have access to the affiliate program please contact support and hopefully I put up a screenshot because I think I took a screenshot of it when it happened. And um, it says, please, con please contact support if you feel there this was an error. And um, it wasn't an error, but I did it. But at the same time, I'm thinking, there's got to be a way you can do both. So what I'm trying to tell you, if you want to save some time and save some heartache, right? Because I had just got that feature. I had just made it to 1,085 followers on my second account just got approved to be in the affiliate program i'm excited i'm like yes hallelujah praise god i'm about to make money on my main account i'm about to make money on this account and just as quick as i got it later on that night it got taken away because of something that i did and i wouldn't say i was greedy you know but what i will tell you you know the bible says to be um anxious for nothing and so, you know, I was anxious, you know, I was like moving quick. I was moving quick. Ah, oh, let me just see. It's almost like the, the, the movie Soul Plane when they open their cell phone in the middle of the air and then they hit a button and the, the whole plane went down. It's like, so be patient, slow down. You, I'm, I want you to learn from this video. I don't want you to make the same mistakes. And especially if that's your main source of income, if this is your only source of income, and you do something crazy and now all of a sudden you have to wait. So the good thing is I only had to wait 24 hours. But the scary part is, is there is a little um, uh, disclaimer on the bottom and it says you can only unlink your seller account three times. I know for a fact that I unlinked it at least four, five, six, seven times because I was testing different things before I got approved uh, to be an affiliate on that second account. And so when I saw that, I was like, no, don't, no, no, no. And so I waited 24 hours. It was 10 o'clock the next night, um, actually around 10.45, and I uh, um, unlinked it, and sure enough, all of my affiliate uh, options were there. And now what I will say also is I had sold one thing. The, the same, the, the, the night before I made a video, the next morning I had sold one Bluetooth wearable speaker. And I was like, yes, okay, so I sold one item on my new account. Um, now, when I did the whole uh, relinking of the seller account to see if I could do both things, um, that commission just disappeared, it went away. And it tells you in a description down there also that you will not be able to earn commissions on um, you know, previous videos that you made, it tells you that. So I ran across someone and they said, well, hey, you know, my account, I have 
uh, something that I'm selling and I'm promoting other people's products, right? And I, I go to their account and, and nothing against them, but I told them, hey, my experience was different. Maybe at one time they did allow that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into something here in a second. Um, it told me, and this was, you know, four days ago, three days ago, it told me that you can't have the same account. Your account is a seller account. So I understand what they may have experienced a few months ago, a year ago, but I know you can't do it now, you know? Um, and so I want there to be a clear understanding on this video because there is a content gap and they have that on TikTok also with uh, Creator Search Insights and then YouTube has it also where there's a content gap um, when you look in your analytics and your back office, the people are searching for stuff, but there's no clear video. This is your clear video, okay? If you wanna be a seller, have a seller account and then have an affiliate account. The only way that a lot of people are saying that you can be an affiliate on the same account is you're selling your merchandise, right? You're selling your merchandise and um, you can be an affiliate of your own merch of your own products that are in your TikTok shop. All right, that's how you, you know, can become an affiliate. When you link a official account to your seller account, that account can be an affiliate, you know, but it's promoting what you're selling on the other account, but you can't be an affiliate of all these other products, you know, um, if you link it, okay? But if you just wanna have a seller account, and then you get approved for an affiliate account, then yes, you can promote other products and then you can also go ahead and add that seller accounts products in your showcase as well. So there's two to three different ways you really need to think about it, all right? Um, I really also want you to know that TikTok needs to know, this is the reason why you can't have both on the same account, is because TikTok needs to know they, they actually help you push. I am excited about one thing and I did finally get a third account, which I'm in the process of changing the name because you can only do it every 30 days. Um, I'm in the process of changing the name. So now I do have two affiliate accounts and I have a, a seller account. Um, once again, I have two affiliate accounts now and I have one seller account. So finally I have what I've been waiting for. I'm just waiting to change the name because you can only do it every 30 days. But this is what I'm gonna tell you. The reason why you can't do it on the same account is because TikTok helps you. They want to help you sell your first um, item as a seller and they also want to help you make your first sale as an affiliate. And so they drive traffic and you get these emails, hey, you know, we're giving you $15 on free ads, you know, 40% uh, off to run your free ad, you know, um, to generate that first sale on your seller account um, as well as on your affiliate account. And they also give you coupons, you know, claim these coupons so that uh, customers, when they see your item in the TikTok shop marketplace or, you know, on the, on the feed, when they click on that item, it'll say $5 off. So claim these coupons so your sellers can, so your customers can get, you know, $5 off of your merchandise. So as a seller, I'm excited because I'm like, man, I'm selling t-shirts. I can't give them five dollars off but TikTok is giving me money and coupons so that i can easily sell merchandise so that's why you can't do both on the same account because TikTok wants to know okay how are we going to help this person are we going to help them as a seller or are we going to help them as um as as an affiliate you know and you know i hope that makes sense because they want to know if they need to help you you know run ads on on as an affiliate um over here as an affiliate they give you coupons so that you can purchase free samples they're not going to give you coupons to purchase free samples on a seller account because you're selling hats that you made t-shirts that you made clothing that you made i don't know mugs cups they're not going to give you a hundred dollars in coupons like i've experienced they gave me two hundred dollars in coupons as an affiliate so that i can go freely buy stuff that I really want that probably I can't afford or maybe that I keep getting denied on when I request a free sample. Like, I keep getting denied on laptops. But TikTok, even though I'm selling all this stuff, but TikTok has given me twice $200 to go buy stuff. And when I buy this stuff, all I'm doing is paying shipping. So if the laptop costs $199, I'm paying $200 that 
money I didn't make up or come up with, TikTok gave it to me, and the shipping is like $27. So I'm just paying $27, you know, or $12, or whatever, for shipping for a laptop. Um, that's what they're doing for affiliates. They want to help you keep promoting videos so that they get a commission and you're making money also. But over here, they're not giving you money to go buy products so that you can make videos. They're giving you uh, money so you can run ads on your products or they're giving you money so that now you can you know, uh, have $5 off, $10 off or say that there's a certain percentage off for your customers to buy your products. So I hope that clears up anything. If for some reason you were grandfathered in and you started TikTok shop last year and you say, you know, I'm gonna comment on here because I'm doing both. Hey, I would love to see your account. All I know is I'm trying to save people the heartache and pain of losing the ability and then wonder, oh, what happened? I was just greedy. I tried to do this and that. No, create three accounts. That's what I would do. I So I have one that I have built up I've had it for a long time and the uh, affiliate program you know became available I have one that I built up over a thousand followers that's the one that I'm talking about that became available and now I'm building up a third one just to build up but I already made it a seller account so that's going to be my new t-shirt uh, clothing line all right guys I will see you on the next video watch one of these videos um, for more insight on a uh, TikTok. Uh, YouTube, watch one of these videos for TikTok or YouTube tips and tricks on how uh, you can learn things and even, you know, special features that come out. I show you how to, you know, implement those and, you know, how to um, utilize the new features and stuff like that. All right. See you on the next video.